Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the import routine to bulk import your account to the Twitter Dub software. We can find the import button down here below the accounts list on every tab that has an accounts list. But we'll do it from the accounts tab. Um, just delete this account that we added earlier and I will need to get an import file ready. So the import um, format can be seen via the import info button here. Um, at its most simplest you can just enter your username password in a CSV or you can go for username, email, password and then the proxy. Let's bring in a file I got ready earlier and you can see the username, password, username, email, password or username, email, password and proxy. So let's go ahead and import this file. Import, select our file. Now we can see our accounts have imported. You can see here we've got test one, test two, and test three has the proxy. Test two will have the email, and this one will not. The accounts haven't been verified, so if you want to check that they have all been imported correctly. You can use the buttons down here to bulk select. Click verify login and again the action will be added. We can see it on the processor. It'll be going through. There's the first one working. Um, the second account won't as it's made up usernames. This account here has the made up proxy, so it's just waiting for the network to time out. You can see we've got a network issue there, the minus one. Fail to pull Twitter. Um, we can see we failed root jazz three, root jazz two, and root jazz test is the actual details. Let's um, bring it up to find the root jazz two attempt. Here is right in front of me. So, login with username root jazz2, went through, has added a username, it failed to post. Um, there's some details of why you um, couldn't get the flow token, which doesn't mean much to you, but it didn't work anyway. So, root jazz3 through the proxy, had a no network, 2 just didn't work because the details were wrong, and root jazz test went through perfectly fine. Now there are many other properties that you can import which are more advanced um, which I think I'll go through in a, another tutorial. Um, so at its most basic you can import via this format username password or username email password username email password proxy. Thanks for watching and if you want more details on more advanced importing of accounts, do watch the tutorial I'll be recording next.